I realize I often talk about uh, the fact that I use Asana in my personal life, but I realized I never really showed anyone how I use it in my personal life. So I'm going to show you a couple options here, or at least examples of how I use Asana in my day to day. Uh, for my family. I'm going to start with how we manage our finances, um, important documentation, um, things of that nature. And so what you can see here is, I'm not showing you everything, obviously, but um, we have a, a project here we call Murray Finances. Uh, there's a calendar of all of the dates for um, all of our different um, committed expenses, all of our savings, everything that we are responsible for is managed out of this project. And so every two weeks, when me and my wife get paid, uh, my wife will go into here. She currently pays all the bills. And so um, she'll just go through and see the date and check it off. So um, things that we um, are responsible for, we have them split up into three categories. We have the, our committed expenses. And so these are things like um, we're, we live in an off-grid property, so we have oil and propane that we have to um, fill up every now and then so we can run our house, um, our car payments, mortgage, all of those obligations that you just can't get away from, insurance, that's all managed here. We have it split down by biweekly and then monthly. And then under uh, our, our next category, we have our spendable expenses. I'm not going to show you what these are, but these could be um, our gas. Um, any kind of travel, um, eating out, um, entertainment, clothes, things like that that just kind of come up that we need um, for the kids and for the family. And then we have our goal fund as well. And so these um, tags here or these custom fields are the like type um, of of area that we that we plan for right now. And so um, they also match what our bank accounts say. So our goal fund, we're planning for family vacations, kids activities, this is sport piano, swimming, anything like that, camps, um, that all has to come from somewhere. So we put that away every single month. And then we have some um, goals to renovate our house and purchase land at some point. We also have our different investments down here as well to show exactly where the money's going, how much is going out, and when it's going. And so um, I figured I would just show you that. But I also have this um, this team that we created called Murray Home. In this, we have all of our identification and our documents. So um, driver's license, SIN number, passport. So if we are traveling and we can't access um, things, again, I'm not gonna show it to you, but uh, we have all that inside of a project. We have our insurance and our investments. So this is like how much coverage we have on all of our different types of insurance, um, critical, um, whole life, term, um, all of that, uh, disability. Um, it's all managed in here. We have all of our account numbers. So everything is documented. It's not just my business that I do this for. I do this so that there's clarity between me and my wife. And eventually when our kids are old enough, they'll be invited into this project and then they'll be able to see and manage all of this as well as their parents' age. Um, we have um, our home tasks, so any to-dos as well. Again, being an off-grid property, um, we have to like fill up the water in our batteries every single month. We have to service the generator, the fireplaces. Uh, we have to do a bunch of just maintenance around the house just to keep the house operating as well. Uh, I'll show you this here. We call this our, our Raven House um, knowledge base. And so this is basically like everything that we need to do um, to run our house. And so here we have a list of all of our vendors that we use. Um, Surrett Battery Company, First Electric, um, Nova Sun Power, they've installed all of our solar panels that run this house. Cozy Fuels, they deliver our propane um, and, our, and our oil every single um, period. They're all right here, phone numbers, everything for who we need to contact, Green Diamond, they sold us and service our, our riding mower tractor, my John Deere. Um, and then we've got uh, under different categories, power and energy, everything to do with so our solar panels, our power inverters that that charge and keep our our house um, on, we'll say the mate three, the display that um, I go to and we need to see what's going on and how much power is being input and, and output it. Um, heating and cooling. So it's all here under these different categories. Water and septic is here, pellet stove, oil and gas, everything from our radon filter to our propane tanks and our oil tank. It's all here. So you can come in here and read up on it. If something's going on, you need to troubleshoot something, then you can come here to have a look at it as well. So that's another way we use it. And then I'll also show you this. This is just 
something fun that I decided to do. Um, this year, we started um, taking the kids out to the thrift store and getting books and DVDs because they never had DVDs before. They grew up when Netflix was streaming and they were like uh, home in the pandemic. So we were streaming Disney and watching Moana and Frozen 2 every single day, all day. And so we're like, let's get some DVDs. Let's get a DVD player. But we never, we've been able to organize all of them. And so here we have like all of our different categories. Um, sorry, we have types first, movie, TV show, documentary. And we have audience, if this is for adults, kids, family, um, the year it was released, the genre as well. And so I can go through and we can like search and we can see what games do we have. We got the Hunger Games. And then when you go into each of these, I really like this. Um, I just use ChatGPT to give me this information. So synopsis of the movie, the main actors. And so we can always go through and we're like, what do we feel like today? We can go through, we can like filter. Um, which is what I like about it. We can go and filter. I want to look at uh, audience. We want uh, just family movies. Um, and then we want, uh, let's go genre for a second. Uh, we just want animated, right? So if it's like a Friday night or Saturday, we're like, what do we have in our library that's family friendly or kid friendly that's animated? So here we have, and we can choose from these uh, eight options here. So those are just some of the ways I use it. There's so many other things that I do within this space, but I figured I'd just give you a quick glimpse into a little bit of my life, and hopefully this will spark some ideas. But it's not business related, but again, what I love about Asana is it's so flexible. You can do so much with it. And so if this helped you, sparked any ideas, let me know in the comments. If you like this video, let me know. Again, by sharing a comment, like the video, share it with someone else who you think would find this helpful. But as always, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.